And while a personal jet is one thing, a personal warbird is an entirely different matter. We found this historic military trainer and combat aircraft at our fly-in at St. Simons Island. Ian Twombly introduces us to the couple that gets to fly a T-28 Trojan. Walt Kimmerly and his wife Debbie get a lot of attention flying their 1955 T-28B around the south. They discover the airplane in an unlikely place. This aircraft was uh, originally in the boneyard. The previous owner uh, bought it from the boneyard, uh, sent it out to Chino where they rebuilt it, put a zero time engine on it, and uh, he flew it uh, for a while and then uh, he passed and we actually found it at an estate sale. The T-28 is the successor to the legendary T-6 trainer. It served for more than 30 years and was even used in combat during the Vietnam War. Its design as a trainer makes it easy to fly. It handles very nicely. Uh, we take off and land around 90 knots, uh, slow flight at about 75. It's not twitchy at all. It's really honest, and uh, I don't think it has any dark corners. At least I haven't found them. Walt is proud to be a part of preserving this piece of military history. It's uh, kind of been a labor of love. Uh, there's a lot of uh, time and money that, that goes into it. I look at myself as a caretaker for this airframe. Uh, you know, it's got a lot of history to it. Uh, with 30 years of training with the Navy, it, it does attract a pretty fair amount of attention. Uh, folks like to talk about it. Uh, and, and I've run into at least three former T-28 pilots just here this morning. Walt and his wife fly the Trojan all over the South, taking the opportunity to show off the airplane and enjoy the freedom of flight. I'm always raring to go any, any, any time we get up in it. Um, I love seeing all the um, countryside. It's a, it's a beautiful sight. I love when we, um, we do the rev up before we take off. It just, it's just a thrill. I, just, I, I love the whole thing. Ian Twombly, AOPA Live.